To our other big story tonight, a first of its kind study investigates exactly how cyber criminals use email phishing attacks to successfully steal billions. ABC Action News I team investigator Adam Walzer has surprising new information about the tactics criminals use, how quickly they attack, and what steps you should take to avoid becoming a victim. Cybercrime is a growing concern. A recent ransomware attack shut down the Colonial Pipeline, leading to long gas lines and driving up prices. Then another targeted the nation's largest meat supplier. And just last week, we learned 200 U.S. businesses have been affected by a colossal ransomware attack that started when hackers hit a Florida-based IT company. Meanwhile, federal agents are still assessing damage from the Solar Winds hack, the nation's largest cyber intrusion to date, which listed the city of Tampa among its 18,000 potential targets. The attacker knows everything they did. And right now, the attacker is the only one that knows everything they did. But the FBI says business email compromise, or BEC attacks, account for the largest losses when it comes to cyber crimes. $1.8 billion was lost in 2020 alone from BEC attacks. Crane Hasselt oversaw a recent study for the internet security company Agari. The company created fake email accounts, then used them to sign on to known phishing sites, most of which appeared to be legitimate business pages for companies including Dropbox, DocuSign, and Microsoft 365. For over a, about a six-month period, we were able to identify more than 8,000 of these phishing sites and seed our credentials into them. Then they observed how quickly the accounts were compromised. Half were accessed within 12 hours, 91% within a week. We saw attackers from 44 different countries all around the world. What are the implications of what you found here? We, while we know that a lot of money is being lost from these attacks, what, it, what hasn't been very clear is sort of what, what the behavior looks like, what the attacker behavior looks like behind the scenes. Some accounts were used as hosts to send other phishing emails. We were able to see one actor that tried to send more than 12,000 phishing emails to real estate and title companies in the U.S. Um, after.